What's up guys, welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about PUBG and its latest season, which is season 28. We are in 2024 now and season 28 is just got released and I'm going to show you the best settings you can use right now at this very moment. Now it's very important, don't skip through my video, watch my video from the beginning to the end and I can promise you, you'll get a massive FPS increase in this game. Now I'm going to make an example for you, right now I'm using OBS, meaning running programs in the background will actually decrease your FPS and it will make your game run worse. So it is very highly recommended to turn background apps off when it comes to playing PUBG and you're struggling with FPS. Now I'm going to make an example for you here right now where I took screenshots of me not recording and what my FPS looks like while I'm standing in the lobby like this. What my FPS looks like without me recording on high settings and then without me recording on competitive settings. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is close all background apps. Now, this is very, very important just to prove to you guys that when you do this and you follow my video from the beginning to the end, you will get an FPS increase. And now there's a lot of things to do. Background apps is one of them. It's one of the most important things to go ahead and do. Now you see this cool ass, background image I have right now that's basically moving and stuff like that I highly recommend if you do have something like this please go ahead and cut out of it now a lot of people do say like oh yo dude I could just click here and then I go to you know pause and then I pause the image and it's a background image that's just standing still now this is wallpaper engine that I'm running through steam you can buy it on steam I highly recommend just quitting out of it completely and to say quit and have a still image that's running at the background so it doesn't use resources like your VRAM of your GPU. You don't want it to do that, so please go ahead and quit out of it. If you have a moving background image, just quit out of it. Next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is go to the start button over here and go to settings, or you could just go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and then press enter, and then this will open up your Windows settings. Now it doesn't matter if you're running Windows 11 or Windows 10, it really doesn't matter. But the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here. You're going to come to privacy and scroll all the way down to where you see it says background apps. Now, if you're a Windows 10 user like me, all you're gonna need to do is go from on to off. Then all of these things won't run in the background while you are playing PUBG and use resources like your RAM, your CPU, and your VRAM usage. Now, you don't want it to do that, so simply just go ahead and turn this off. If you're a Windows 11 user, you're gonna have to individually turn these things off by disabling them individually, one by one. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. You can just go and Google it, otherwise this video is gonna be too long. Right from here, you're going to go to the home button and then you're going to come to gaming. You're going to come inside here and then just make sure that this is turned off by the game bar. Make sure this is turned off unchecked and then you're going to come to captures and you're going to come inside here. Now, if you do not use this, just copy my settings as is over here as they are like here, just like this. Copy them as is. If you do not use this and you use maybe your AMD graphics card or your NVIDIA graphics card to record gameplay, please don't use this. It actually does decrease FPS. You're going to come to game mode and I highly recommend that you have game mode turned on right now at this very moment. Please go ahead and do so for the latest season. You're going to come to graphic settings over here and make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on right now at this very moment for the latest season. Now, you're going to close out of this and then you're going to do this. You're going to go and press Windows key and R and then you're going to type in MS config that looks just like that. Type in MS config and click OK. Now it's going to open up this over here for you and then you're going to need to do this. All right, so you get your general, your boot, your service and your startup. You're gonna click on startup over here and go to open task manager and you're gonna come inside here. Now all of the things that you don't need and you don't want to start up once you boot your machine, disable them. Please go ahead and do so. Like Spotify and like Microsoft Edge and you know like maybe your whatever VPN you are using, Steam itself, and just programs in general, please go ahead and disable them that you do not need to run in the background. Click on it, anything that's enabled, click on it and then just disable it. Just do not disable Windows things. Please don't do that. Please don't disable like your headset or your mouse or keyboard or whatever the case might be. But programs, please go ahead and disable them and then just open them up. Once you boot your computer, then obviously you can open up like Steam or EA or whatever you are playing through, whatever the case might be. Please go ahead and do that. As you can see, mine is at 2.38 seconds. By disabling these things, it will make it shorter. Trust me, it will make your boot time shorter. If you have solid state drive or hard drive or SSD or M.2, it doesn't matter. It will make it shorter and your boot time will be much quicker and your PC will be much faster. 
please go ahead and disable these things. It's very, very important. All right close out of this let's jump straight into the next step all right ladies and gentlemen so the next step i highly recommend you go ahead and do is and it plays a very important role in how your game looks if you are an nvidia user like me just right click on your desktop and open up nvidia control panel and then once it opened this is what you're going to need to do please don't use nvidia filters rather use this nvidia filters intends to give you less fps where you could just use this program basically in the video control panel settings, and then just change this where it says adjust this to color settings and you're gonna come inside here. Now I have three monitors, as you can see, if you have one monitor, it will automatically highlight the main monitor you are using. Don't worry about it, just have it on the main monitor you're using, and then go to image three. Have this at 50%, you can change the brightness in all your games, because this is gonna apply for every single game you're playing, not just PUBG. Please have this at 50%, have your contrast at 65, your gamma at 1.00, which is a default settings when it comes to Windows. And then I have mine at 95 for me as a sweet spot for my digital vibrance. It makes the colors pop in the game, especially in PUBG, makes the trees pop and you can actually see enemies much, much easier. Now, if you pull this all the way down to zero, you'll see your screen goes black and white. If you pull this to about 50, which is the default settings for Windows, you'll see that your Windows looks washed out. Now you don't want that, so start pushing this up to your own sweet spot over here. It could be 75, it could be 85, it could be 90, it could be 95, it's your own sweet spot. My sweet spot is 95 over here, and I highly recommend that you go ahead and play around with this. Don't use no video filters. And then just apply these settings. Your screen might flash a couple of times. If it applies it, don't worry about it. It's just applying the settings for you. Now from here, you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview, and you're going to come inside here. I highly recommend you use the advanced 3D image settings and then click on take me there, which is basically just going to take you to manage 3D settings like this. Now, as you can see, these things have, has all changed for me ever since I updated my GPU drivers. Now, I'm going to show you what you're going to need to be using and please go ahead and use this. All right. So first one off, off, and then this don't have this at eight. You are going to say off. All right. This one over here where it says Anti-analyzing mode, it says override any application setting. Please don't do that. Click on this option and then go to application controlled like that so that your games will do it for you and not this application. All right, you're gonna scroll down. You're gonna have this at prefer system fallback where it says CUDA GPUs. You're gonna click on this and then come here and then actually select your dedicated graphics card that you're currently running right now and then say, okay. Now, DSR factors, mine for some reason went to this. I don't know why I did that but you want to disable this please disable this don't have it on all right from here you go to low latency mode low latency mode can actually help you with stuttering in the game if you have ultra or on please go ahead and just turn it on leave it at on and you should be good to go scroll down you're going to have max frame rate at off multi frame rate sampling aa you're going to turn off open gl compatibility you're going to click on this it will say auto you're going to click on it and you're going to say prefer performance all right then you're going to scroll down and then open GL rendering GPU, select your dedicated graphics card. As you can see, mine is selected. And then where it says power management mode, it says prefer maximum performance. Please go ahead and do that. Where it says shader cache size, please have it at default at this very moment. You're going to scroll down. This one plays a very big role on the game itself. So the quality of your games of how they're going to look. If you have a low end machine, I highly recommend you put this at high performance. If you have a mid-range machine, you go to performance. If you have a very decent high-end machine, you're going to play with high quality or quality. I currently have mine at quality with a 4070 Super, right? Off, on, and then off, and then these are just virtual reality things. You do not need to play around with this, all right? Now you're going to apply these settings. All right, so once you applied these settings over here, ladies and gentlemen, once you clicked apply, your screen might flash a couple of times. Your screen might even go completely black. Just give it a second. It will come back and your settings will be applied for managed 3D settings, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, now I'm doing 342 FPS, but just changing the NVIDIA control panel settings. So I highly recommend you go ahead and copy those settings that I showed you and apply all of the settings I showed you inside the managed 3d settings i went from 315 fps to 342 fps with the same settings for competitive settings it boosts my fps please go ahead and apply it all right all right let's jump to the next step from here you're going to go to config surround and physics you're going to click on this and make sure that you have your dedicated graphics card selected 
not auto select, not CPU, your dedicated graphics card. And then press apply if you haven't done this already. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight out of this. And let me show you the next step which I highly, highly recommend you go ahead and do. All right, so the next step that's very important for you to go ahead and do is this over here. You're going to come to the search button over here and type in CMD and then right click on this and go to run as administrator. It's going to bring up a command prompt and just say yes to it. It'll make your screen go black. Don't worry about it. You're going to pull this to wherever you want it to be. And you're going to have this open over here. You're going to type in SFC spacebar forward slash scan now one word and then press enter now what this will do is it will scan through your solid state drives your m.2s your hard drives whatever drives you currently have on your machine it will scan for corrupt files now pubg is known for crashing for at random times even while you're in the game and playing this could maybe fix it for you so this is just something i just wanted to put out there that this could actually help you for crashing when you're playing the game and the game just randomly crashes as well so this is a nice feature to have please go ahead and press enter and then scan your entire machine and find out if you have corrupt files windows will automatically fix it for you if you do have corrupt files when it comes to this game all right ladies and gentlemen before i jump into the optimization for pubg i highly recommend you go ahead and check out sense quality if you're having any problems with your pc currently like streaming wise if you're a streamer if you have internet problems if you have problems with your pc in general they do have a discord channel that's literally dedicated for people to go in there and actually help you with your machine if you're having any type of problems they can also basically tell you what you should be upgrading if you're having certain problems with your machine what you should be upgrading what you shouldn't be upgrading and basically the bang for the buck now ladies and gentlemen these people have worked with the like the best of people when it comes to professional gameplay they have worked with swag they actually made his pc run to 500 fps on warzone and i mean yeah they are really good company and i highly recommend that you go ahead and check them out all right let's jump straight into this video all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see we are in the game right now so i highly recommend you're going to come to this over here with this little gear icon and you're going to come to settings and you're going to come inside here now the very first thing i highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here you're going to have your language selected to your preferred language i know a lot of people are watching this video right now in a different language but they understand english or they were reading my captions or whatever the case might be just have your language selected over here this one over here highlight auto captures please go ahead and disable this you do not need it all right borderless i highly recommend you play this game in borderless mode not in full screen it actually increases fps when you play it in borderless mode rather than full screen now, I have tested this with my 4070 Super, and borderless mode actually gives me 40 FPS increase when I change from full screen, like this, to borderless mode. 40 FPS increase, all right? This one is obviously going to be your resolution that you play in your game at. I play my game at 1080p. I could push it to 4K. I have a 4K screen, but I'm not going to be playing at 4K. I'm using competitive settings to get the best out of this game, not ultra settings and stuff like that. Right? Even though I have a 4070 Super, it's capable of running this game at 4K with really high FPS. All right? Lobby FPS cap unlimited, and then in-game FPS cap unlimited as well. Please go ahead and do that. Smooth frame rate disabled, brightness at 85, or it could be your own personal preference of what you're going to do here. I have mine personally at 85. Universal brightness for all maps. Please go ahead and enable this. All right? From here, you're going to go to advance, and you're going to come to the render scale. Please go ahead and put this at 120 to have the best visuals in the game. Now, if you're struggling with FPS and you know you got a really bad GPU, please, you can go to like 100, but the, just don't blame me. It's, that's just your GPU not handling the game correctly. If you have a really bad GPU, you can put this to 100. Yes, you can put this to 100, but the game's not going to look as crystal clear as when you put it at 120. All right. First person camera, FOV, field of view, I put mine at 103. Now, overall graphics quality, I have mine at ultra and look at my frames. I am running a 4070 Super, so I can run my game like this. But I don't run it like this because it's unresponsive, it doesn't feel responsive, it doesn't feel like I'm using competitive settings. So now, I'm going to give you competitive settings. Anti-analyzing, if you have a really decent GPU, please go ahead and put this at at least medium to low right if you got a very low end gpu or medium in go to very low you do not need this it's going to make the game nice and sharp for you and please go ahead and change it to this 
post-processing, you can go all the way to very low. You don't need this in this game. Shadows, if you have a decent GPU, go with low. If you have a lower generation machine, please go to very low. You do not need the shadows in the game. But you have a decent GPU, go to low over here, right? Now, I have mine at very low as well. Textures, you can put it ultra. If you have a very low end GPU and mid-range PC in general, go to high, okay? Do, you do not need to go to ultra. There's not much difference between ultra and high, but I can run mine at ultra, so I run it at ultra, okay? Ultra and high, that's perfectly fine. Effects does not need to be on ultra. You can put this all the way to very low. You do not need to see the effects in this game. Now, the smoke that people throw does play a big role when it comes to effects okay as you can see on the picture here on the right hand side from very low to low there's no difference okay but as soon as you put it to medium it starts changing okay if you have a decent enough gpu and machine put this at medium i leave mine at medium like this so i can actually see the smoke density change if you have it at very low the smoke looks very pixelated but if you want fps I would highly recommend you go to very low. I leave mine at medium with my GPU. All right, foliage plays a very big role in this game. Now I leave mine at ultra so I can render in the trees that's literally across the map on the other side and it runs it perfectly fine. But with, for competitive settings, I would highly recommend you go all the way to low. I would recommend putting this at low so you can at least see the trees from where you're running. Those trees will start loading in once you run towards that way, okay? Now, as you can see here, when I put it to very low, they disappear. Now, if I put it all the way to ultra, all the trees are going to render in on the entire map. You don't need it to do that. You're gonna put a strain on your GPU, especially if you're running a very low end GPU. So, all you're gonna need to do is put this at low or very low. It's your own personal preference depending on the GPU you're running. For me right now, I run mine at ultra. View distance, I have mine at ultra as well with my GPU, but competitive settings, you're gonna have this either at medium, low, or just very low if you have a very low end GPU in general. Keep it at very low, you should be fine, but I would recommend pushing this up to low and leaving it right there. Sharpen, please go ahead and enable this. It's very important for you to do this. Sharpen helps you see enemies easier. All right. V-Sync, go ahead and disable this if you don't get any screen tearing in your game while you're playing. It literally shows how screen tearing looks. It's literally when your screen looks like it's tearing apart. If you are getting that, I highly recommend enabling it. Then you won't get any screen tearing. V-Sync will also then cap your FPS to the refresh rate of your monitor. So if you have a... 60 hertz monitors, it will cap it to 60 FPS. If you have 120, if you have 144, you get my point, all right? But if you don't get any screen tearing, keep it at disabled, all right? Motion blur, disable this. Please don't enable this because as you can see here in this image, if you have motion blur on, everything blurs around you when you move. Now, someone could be standing over there and then just shoot you in your face and then you don't know why. It's because you have this fucking stupid ass option on. Please go ahead and turn it the fuck off and leave it the fuck off, all right? This one over here, DirectX 11. Do not push it to enhance. Do not push it at 12. Go to 11 and leave it there, all right? Now, something that's very, very important also as well when it comes to this game is this over here. I'm going to go to gameplay and I'm going to come over here. Colorblind mode actually helps a lot, but this is people's own personal preference, okay? You can copy mine as is, even my crosshair. It's pink, as you can see, changing this to zero, 255, 255, 255, that's zero. My crosshair is pink. Nothing in the game is pink, so nothing can obstruct my crosshair once I'm playing the game. This one plays a very big role as well. Inventory character render, that's every time you press tab, your character in the middle of your screen will render in. Now that uses VRAM usage. Put it off. I have mine off on a 4070 Super. So please, with your GPU, turn it off. You do not need it, all right? This one over here is your own personal preference on what you're gonna put this on. I mean, literally there's a few that you could choose from. That's normal, but yeah. Trust me, colorblind mode helps a lot. It really does when it comes to this game. Right, once you're done with all of these things, you're just going to apply these settings and then you can go out of this and then you can be over here. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel for your new year and I hope this helped you for the latest season and I hope you guys have fun by getting those chicken dinners. As always, hope this helped you and peace out.